Hello friends, my name is Salman and you are watching my channel Solid Tech. In this video, I will discuss a very important topic about Veeam Backup and Replication. Basically, in this uh, lecture, I will discuss the backup methods. What are the backup methods are there in Veeam and how can we use them? So, basically, Veeam provides an image level backup of VMs. Basically, there are two uh, level of backups. One is the image level and other is file and folder level. Image level backup is very fast and reliable and use the snapshot technology. Veeams are treated as an object rather than a collection of files and folders. Uh, Veeam are, VMs are backed up at the block level with the aid of VM snapshots. Veeam can be restored at the block level. Extra effort is required to the restored individual file and folders. As you can see from the picture, this is a uh, this is called a image level uh, backup because in this image level block uh, level backup we have a blocks. For example, if something change in um, our VM, the block is also changed. So uh, in the next uh, uh, backup, we uh, only uh, take care of the uh, blocks which have been changed during the uh, last backup. So Veeam backup and recovery uses the block level uh, changes technology. So uh, in any type of backup, there are some steps which are common in all the uh, backup method. Like uh, the first backup job session always produce a full workup. Whenever we uh, perform any type of backup, the first backup job is always a full. It means it take a snapshot of all, all VM. Subsequent backup job sessions are implemented and only change blocks are separated. And after the uh, full backup, we have the captured the uh, next uh, uh, block uh, which have been changed during the last backup. And this is called the incremental backup. So uh, Veeam backup and replication provide the three methods for creating backup chains. Basically, there are only three methods available in Veeam backup and recovery. The one is called uh, forward, uh, forever forward incremental backup. Other second one is called forward incremental backup and last one is called reverse incremental backup. Now, now let's uh, uh, have a look on one by one on each what they are and how they work. Though uh, before starting the backup type, uh, I want to uh, mention the file type which is uh, created during this type of backup. Though the first extension is called uh, the file type extension is called VBK. VBK represent the full backup of any uh, Veeam uh, backup and uh, the other extension is called VSB. VSB is used for the synthetic full backup. I will explain later on I will explain you what is the synthetic full backup but, uh, but right now you should understand what are the extensions and what type of backup associate with this extension. The third one is called VIB. VIB is used for forward incremental backup and uh, the fourth one is called dot VRB. VRB is used for previous incremental backup. And the last one is called uh, VBM uh, backup uh, metadata. Basically, uh, backup metadata is holding all the information of all type of backup, whether it is forward, reverse, or incremental. So I will explain you uh, in my uh, demo classes uh, how we can recognize this type of backup. So these are the three types of backup. As you can see from the picture, the first backup is always the full and is represented by VBK. And afterward, we have by VIB, which is the forward incremental backup. Similarly, we have in the second figure, we have the forward incremental backup and then we have VBK, which is the synthetic full backup. And the last one is VBR, which is the reverse incremental backup. And as you can see, the last backup is the full backup. So these are the extension of the file, which is created during the uh, backups. So now uh, let's uh, look at one by one, what are, uh, what are their uh, feature. The first backup type is called forever forward incremental backup. During the first session of the backup job, we create full backup file on the backup repository. As I told you, the first backup is always is the full backup. So in any backup type, the first backup should be a full backup. During the subsequent or next backup job, we copies only the VM data block that have been changed since the last backup job and save these block as an incremental backup file in the backup chain. So in uh, forward, forever forward incremental backup, we have a full backup at the starting. Then after that, we have uh, only uh, changes which occurred in our VMs uh, in the form of VIB. So this is the full backup. This is incremental, 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 incremental. And these goes uh, uh, goes uh, as, as the backup uh, progress. 
so here we can we, here we have an concept of retention cycle what is retention cycle retention cycle uh, tell us how many days we keep kept the our uh, backups uh, for our repository or our uh, storage so basically there are two types of uh, methodology here there uh, one is very famous in which we kept the backup uh, for one week for seven days after the after seven days the oldest backup is discarded for example if we uh, take the backup again on sunday the last sunday backup will be discarded from our backup repository after you adding a restore point to the backup chain we check the retention policy as i told you the it will check the retention policy on and as per retention policy it will uh, discard the last backup so for example we, if we take the back full backup of the sunday and then uh, we uh, if we want to uh, restore the backup of wednesday in this case uh, we uh, first of all we restore the backup of sunday after that we have we have to restore the backup of monday thursday and wednesday so for restoring the backup of wednesday we should uh, go through a three types of backup full backup of sunday monday and tuesday and then finally we get the backup of wednesday of our desired virtual machine uh, as you can see this is the snapshot of the veeam backup and recovery uh, console in which uh, we open the option of the uh, forever forward incremental backup so you can see here we can set the forward uh, incremental forever forward incremental backup so as you can see from the picture this is the picture of forward incremental backup so i will show you in demonstration in my video how we set these type of backups now the uh, the second type is uh, called synthetic full backup what is the synthetic full backup basically in synthetic full backup first of all we create the full backup from the veeam backup and recovery and after that we have a incremental backup and in some point of uh, time we have also created a full backup from the our previous in incremental backup so this backup is created from the previous incremental backup that's why it's called the synthetic backup because it's the is the uh, it it is not made from the uh, original machine it is made from the all previous old backup so we call it synthetic backup so this is the our synthetic full backup so the second type is the forward incremental backup basically the forward incremental backup and the forever forward incremental backup are the same but uh, the difference is that the in forward incremental backup we have a synthetic backup so we in case uh, let's suppose this is our backup cycle in which we have a sunday on sunday we have a full backup and all thursday on thursday we have a full backup let's suppose we have some uh, error occur in on thursday so in this case we can only uh, need to backup uh, restore only one backup which is the backup of thursday so for example if we have a disaster in uh, tuesday in this case we have only uh restore the two back three backups one from the sunday and monday and afterwards the uh from the tuesday so in this type of backup our uh, our restoration process is very simple and uh, take less time as compared to forward for full over backup so as you can see this is the same as the previous type during the subsequent backup job we copies only the data blocks which has been changed since the last backup job and save this block as an incremental backup in the backup file as i told you these are this is are the these two points are the common on a day when the synthetical full backup or active backup is scheduled we create a full backup files and add it to the backup chain incremental restore points produced products produced after this full backup file is always new starting point so as i as i as i told you this is the very good in case of uh, disaster recovery you need to uh, restore and very few backups from the forward incremental backup so let's for first example if we uh, if we have a disaster on a thursday we can easily restore our backup from the thursday backup and same like if we have a disaster on the monday we uh, monday or we can also recover by uh, restoring the sunday backup and afterward we uh, we have to restore the monday backups so in uh, veeam console or in vm job uh, we have created the we easily created the veeam uh, increment forward incremental backup by the backup jobs and we should select the incremental backup along with the checkbox which is called create synthetic full uh, backup periodically so if we ch check this 
along with this check this type of uh, backup is called the forward incremental backup so i will show you and and, and we also the uh, indicate the uh, date or time in which we want to create a synthetic backup as you can see dot vbk is uh, represent the synthetic full backup so on first day we have to create the synthetic backup from our previous backup like this this and this we combine all these and we form a synthetic full backup this is not created from the vms but it, it is created from our previous uh, backup jobs so what is the reverse incremental job in reverse incremental job we have a full backup on sunday and then after monday we can uh, combine the backups of uh, sunday and monday and move forward in the in, in the same manner on saturday we have the full backup the advantage of the reverse incremental job is that we uh, the last backup is the full backup of our uh, virtual environment or virtual machine so in case if you want to uh, readily available your uh, restore your uh, entire infrastructure you should go with the reverse incremental backup but but this is very small very uh, slow process and we we in backup and recovery don't uh, recommend this type of backup so during the first backup job session this is the common as i told you all the backup during the first backup job we in backup and application create a full backup file on a we backup repository this is common in all three backups during the subsequent backup session Veeam backup and replication copies only only Veeam data blocks that have been changed since the last backup job session. Veeam backup and replication inject the copies of the data block into the full backup file to the rebuild in the most recent state of the Veeam. As I told you, first of all we take the full backup and after that we have a incremental backup and with the incremental have backup we have inject the previous backup to the. Uh, news backup so in 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 case of sunday we have the full backup and in case of uh, tuesday we have a, we have the full backup likewise in the saturday we have the full backup so after the adding a restore point of the backup chain we backup and replication checks the retention policy set to the job if we we backup and replication detect an outage restore point it remove the point from which back checkup as as i told you uh, in uh, our retention policy if we have 7 days on 8 days it will remove the uh, oldest uh, backup from the backup chain job so for example in traditional backup uh, we have a full backup then we have a incremental backup but in reverse uh, incremental backup we have a sunday full backups and then monday i will uh, it will take the incremental backup and inject the previous backup into the monday backup so in this way finally i will get the full backup the my last backup is the full backup so to creating the reverse incremental job in veeam uh, job uh, properties we have a uh, check box reverse incremental backup as you can see this is the slower one and the the recommended is the uh, forward incremental backup is the recommended as you can see this this is the incremental backup so as you can see we have the uh, reverse uh, incremental backup and the finally we have a full backup so there is a rule of uh, understanding the rule of backup rule there are a backup rule which is called the 3 to 1 what does it mean it means we have a three copies of our data and uh, two of them are kept in a different storage media for example we we can uh, kept one copy in uh, uh, tape media and the other one is on uh, uh, some san or nas and the third copy is always uh, shifted to the offsite uh, copy which is uh, maybe uh, on your dr side or something else where you can keep the third copy so this is the rule of veeam backup and recovery so uh, now we take uh, take look at the what is the retention policy in all the backup type so understanding the retention policy first uh, the, the simplest one is the reverse incremental backup as you can see now we have the 7 days of backup and we have a 7 days of a a retention policy that means on on day 8 on day 8 uh, for example on sunday we can move our saturday data to do sunday data and and uh, from our uh, backup chain we remove the oldest data so in this way uh, the reverse incremental policy retention policy works so this is the very simple one after that we have a forward incremental backup in forward incremental backup if we have a 7 days retention policy on day 8 on sunday we move our incremental backup one step ahead 
and remove the oldest beta backup from our the uh, data chain. So uh, now we have forward uh, forever forward incremental backup. We have the seven backups and on uh, day eight we create an incremental backup and on the same time we can create we can combine the Monday data to the Sunday data and move these type of data to the Monday and remove the Sunday data. So this is the backup types of the beam backup and recovery as I, 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 I can tell I, I told you okay, this is the uh, three types of back, back, backups are there in beam backup and recovery. In the next video I will demonstrate how they work and how can you recognize how, how can you restore from your backups to the your production environment. Thank you very much for your time.